Welcome back. Joining us on the show now is Mr. Ramesh Kejriwal. He is president at All India Rubber Industries Association. Mr. Kejriwal, hi. Thank you so much for joining us. And I first of all want to talk about the Indian prices itself, which have continued to be weaker in this year. And even as the industry has been asking for a support price, and we've seen those numbers float around at 200 and then 300 as well. What's your sense on the current prices itself? Hi, good afternoon, ma'am. Uh, as you introduced myself, I would like to inform you that the rubber prices are hovering about 138 to 145 per kg now. So it is on a very low side as far as planters are concerned. And it is good news for the consumer industry, the manufacturers who are using this natural rubber in a great volume. Hmm. Also, Mr. Kejriwal, what's your sense on the availability of it? Because we do understand that Indian production this time around has been quite well. Not the case, perhaps, in the other uh, uh, exporting countries. Uh, so how are you as an industry head looking at the availability? I will just put you the figures. In 2022-23, hmm. India has made a recorded production of 8,39,000 million tons, hmm. uh, tons, which was only one ton short of the 8,40,000 <clears throat> estimated for the year. Okay. And this is the highest production in the last 10 years. And it is about increase of 8.3% from the previous year. Hmm. So, but still we have a gap of about uh, 40%. So whatever the consumption is there in the country. And for that, we have to import rubber to the extent of about... 6 lakh ton in a year. Right. Hmm. Hmm. So uh, how, how is the industry growth right now? I mean, we do understand that the, some of the numbers have been quite strong. If you look at the tire industry, for example, the numbers, earnings have been strong. The lower rubber prices clearly worked in favor of them. Yes, ma'am. Uh, apart from the tire industry, non-tire sector also is very booming hmm. because of the various reasons like the low prices of raw material, availability of raw material in a good quantity mm. and good uh, potential in the domestic market in the automobile sector as well as the other sectors. So the industry is booming and uh, this year, uh, last year, it has shown a very good growth. In fact, of production figures are concerned. And what are you projecting now for this year as well? And uh, what's your sense on availability? This year also we are expecting a uh, growth rate of at least 10% okay. in comparison to the last year in terms of the consumption of natural rubber as well as the production of the finished goods. Hmm. Uh, in the global markets, when you look at prices, they are also trading at around seven-week lows uh, Seven week lows there. Uh, the prices in this week, though, have seen some strength come in. If you look at this current week, we've seen prices gain up by 1.5%. Uh, what, what's your sense on the prices going forward? I mean, as you said, it's good news for the consumers. We're trading at around 130, 135 rupees per kg. But are you guys making any calculations on where the rubber prices could head from here? Look, at present, the monsoon season is on. And uh, we are expecting a weaker monsoon in this year. Mm. So that will affect the planters' uh, production of natural rubber in the current year, maybe mm. to the extent of 4 or 5%. So we are expecting another uh, in, uh, increase of 5 to 10 rupees kilo in the okay. next uh, one to two months' time. Okay. Mr. Kejriwal, as, uh, I mean, as you said, the uh, tyre and the non-tyre rubber industry all have done well, and you projected a growth of 10% as well. But when you look at the non-tyre industry, where do you see, which category do you, do you see, uh, you know, more growth coming in from? Our export potential is very good because uh, India is exporting now to various countries. And uh, as far as export uh, is concerned... India is doing extremely well. Hmm. And the market for the Indian rubber goods are increasing day by day in foreign countries. And domestic production also because the steel sector is in bo uh, booming, uh, the automobile hmm. sector is also in a very good uh, trajectory. So all these factors have helped the Indian rubber industry, non-tire sector, to achieve its growth in a very positive way. 
Absolutely. So, what also, uh, uh, if you are, if there are any numbers that you can share with us in sense of exports as well, on how did they look last year, and in comparison, what are you looking to achieve this year? Uh, you're talking about the finished goods. That's right. Any number that you would have on uh, hand on, you know, an average percentage point that you're looking to see an increase in? From the last year, we have increased production of uh, export of about 5 to 7 percent. Okay. And are you hoping to hold on to those numbers? I mean, do you see those numbers holding yeah, on? Yeah, we expect, we expect uh, in the current year, we should uh, target at, uh, our target is at least 10 percent than the previous hmm. year. Okay. Also, uh, you know, we do understand that PLI is something that the industry was waiting for. I also talked to you about prices that the industry has been looking at. Import duty is something that the, uh, the, the se sector has been uh, looking to cut into as well. Anything that you're expecting from the government in this sector? Yes, ma'am. For our rubber industry, inverted duty structure is a major concern. So, we are writing to the government of India to look into the inverted duty structure. Mm. If inverted duty structure is uh, corrected and uh, we can import raw material at a lesser duty, then right. that will benefit because still India is importing a lot of synthetic rubber for its consumption. And if finished goods are coming at the cheaper rates, then the raw material, then it becomes a very huge difficulty for the manufacturing sector to cope up with this situation. Absolutely. We do get that. All right. Uh, rubber prices down in the last one year or so, but have been increasing in the last one week. Let's see whether that sustains or not. Thanks a lot, Manisha and sir, for taking us through the outlook on that. Uh, take a short break. Come back. We'll get you more on the markets and individual stocks on the other side. Stay tuned.